In this tutorial, I will show how to perform a lifetime fitting of a die using the software Symphotime64. And as an example, I will take the data of Atto655. So the first thing is to open the workspace where we have our data. Highlight the data, then go to Analysis, time correlate the single photon counting and time correlate the time correlate the single photon counting fitting. So we open the data and we've got the histogram, and at the left we've got the parameters to perform the exponential fit. So here I can pick the model I want to fit with, tail fit or expo or reconvolution uh, fit. If you want to look at the equations, we can click help or press F1. And to perform the fit, we just click Initial Fit. To know if the fit is it's okay, we look at the chi value, which should be close to, to one. And we, and most importantly, we look at the distribution of the residuals that has to be evenly distributed around zero, like in this case. If we like the results, we can save them, and then we generate a data which is called with, with extension PQRES. If we want to save the data, we can go right click and copy them and then, for example, paste them in Notepad. And if it is also possible to save the histogram in ASCII, so we just go to right click and save an ASCII. I will just rename it as Decay, for example. I save it and then when I open it we will see that we've got eight columns each of them with a time axis and they correspond to the IRF to the experimental decay to the fitted decay and to the residuals the symphon time also give us the opportunity or the possibility to fit two data sets at the same time. So I will highlight these two, correspond to Sci-5 and to Atto655, and I click Start. And now we should have the two histograms loaded in the same, in the same window. So we clearly see here, here how the decays, they are different, the Sci-5 is quicker. So to highlight them, we can scroll them here in, in the selection. And if we want to fit them at the same time, we have to pick the same model for those. We just press initial fit. Or sorry, we, we, I, we press fit all. And if, then the fit is performed in, in the both data sets. And if we want to see how the fittings look like, we just can toggle them here. And we see that, for example, the size 5, one, one exponential fitting would not be sufficient in this case. If we want to look at the parameters more in depth, we can click parameter plot and here we can choose what parameters to display. For example, I can use the exponential factor that is already highlighted and the lifetime. So I activate it and then we've got two plots. The first one the exponential factor, the second one with the lifetimes, and in each of them we've got two points corresponding to the Atom 655 and to the Sci-5. Sci so it's also possible to export this data. We go to right-click. We can save it with the name fit values, for example. When we open it, we will see all the data like the exponential factors, the lifetimes, the background, and so on and so forth. It is also possible to, to only export as ASCII the selected, the represented data. I will set this. And if I like the results, I can save them. And in this case, the results are saved in each of the two sample sets. If I open any of them, the two histograms should appear. 
open it. And here they are.